Hello, my name is Peter Reckelmann. I'm Product Marketing Manager for Embedded Computing Technology at MSC. Today I would like to introduce the application of Q7 modules for industrial control and automation. Q7 is a module standard that was introduced a couple of years ago and it was devised specifically for low power and medium performance processors such as Intel Atom. Here is an example of a Q7 module. The name derives from the 7 by 7 centimeters and the Q indicates uh, the square format of the form factor. These modules are always low power and of various performance stages depending on the processor megahertz rating used. The small size makes it very useful in applications that are space constrained and even the carrier board, the baseboard that the module must be uh, plugged on can be of quite a small size as well. So the resulting system can be small such as this industrial PC housing, it's called the uh, DIN rail PC format. In fact, when the latest generation of Intel Atom processors was uh, introduced to the market, it came with a companion chip called the Topcliffe chipset that also supported the CAN interface. CAN is an industrial bus that is very popular and has been used for a long time in applications such as automotive, medical, railroad technology and a few more. It's a very secure and very robust bus technology. So more recently it was also used in the new generation of the Tunnel Creek processor companion chip named Topcliffe. The application of the new generation of Q7 modules supporting the CAN bus is now shown here in a demonstration of an industrial control showing how the CAN bus can be used to control industrial interfaces such as switches, lamps, engine control, and even analog interfaces. The CAN bus here is used as the uh, secure control bus to control what's happening in the external system. And the software that is working to control everything is CAN open interface, which will need some more explanation. But first of all, let's take a look at the hardware. The basic control computer is a Q7 module mounted on a Q7 baseboard. This is a standard baseboard that can be used, for example, as an aviation vehicle for Q7 modules. However, most interfaces are accessible from the outside including the CAN bus. The CPU module, which is mounted here and is only covered by a heat spreader and a heat sink, controls the whole setup and it's driving an LC display using LVDS interface technology. The CAN bus is connected here and only driven by a standard amplifier leading towards the peripherals. The other peripherals are industry standard I.O. devices such as digital and even analog interfaces and some more actuators and external switches and inputs. Now everything together is controlled by the software program that is running on the Q7 module. This program is using CanOpen as a standard abstraction layer to allow the software to control peripheral industrial devices in a form that is more or less plug and play so that the internal details of the peripheral nodes as well as the bus uh, hardware do not have to be known to the program. Here is the CanOpen protocol that is used for this demonstration. The lowest level is the physical layer, which of course is given, and the data link layer, 
is the canvas in this case. But the top layers that we can see here are part of the Can Open protocol stack. And they consist of the communication layer, which is the basic Can Open framework, as well as the communication profile. The top layer is the application layer. And here, Can Open differentiates between devices, which are the external uh, peripherals to be driven or to be communicated with, and the nodes inside of these devices. Each node has a certain profile, and this profile is given to it before the programmer starts his work. So in using this method, as a very high abstraction layer for programming is achieved, which will result in very fast turnaround times and ultimately time to market. Even though this is just a very basic example, our demonstration can be used to show the basic behavior of an industrial control up to a certain level of detail. The Q7 module controls the CAN bus and the CAN bus is connected to peripherals which, as shown here, are just flicking lights or switching on the light of a model or even switching on the engine of the model. And as the last thing that I want to show, even an analog interface is driven. A solar panel on this side is creating a voltage and an energy which is read by the Q7 module via the CAN bus interface and the current voltage generated by the solar panel is displayed in the output of the LCD screen over here. The current voltage will reduce when I put a shadow on top of the solar panel and this results in a decreased voltage read by the CAN bus interface and shown and indicated by the Q7 module. It is only a very basic, a very simple demonstration, but showing how easily and how quickly Q7, an industry standard computer on module, can be used even in the harsh requirement environment of industrial control and automation.